I got bangers for 45 minutes. You better hope I'm not playing before you if I got a 45 minute set. <laughs> Before my first show, I performed a million times. I was in chorus all through high school, middle school, church. I was a cappella group in college. Yeah, I had performed quite a bit. But me don't mean a thing without you. Favorite songs I was performing back then? I don't know anything I thought chicks would like, really. Time in between my first real tour and my first show was probably five years, five years, I would think. We were on one bus at that time. I'd crawl out of the bunk, make a coffee. Me and the band would go and like try to do something in the city because most of us had never been anywhere. If we were in like Seattle, we'd like go see the Space Needle or like go to the fish market or whatever, do sound check, and then really just kill time. Nothing wild. You just wait to play the show. It sounds really unmagical as I'm explaining it, but there was a lot of good, a lot of good memories in those times for sure. Touring wise for me, I mean, I was playing four or five shows a week before I even moved to Nashville. All around North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee. I'm the tour manager, I'm the manager. Like there's nobody else doing anything. So then we kind of transitioned once I got to Nashville, I didn't tour for a year and a half. And then I got my booking deal, started just doing whatever shows I could get. Like I just wanted to play, right? Saved up enough to buy like a used Sprinter van. My manager drove that around. So he was like TM, manager, driver. I met my now tour manager at the boot barn in the mall. I sort of just sold Luke a pair of boots and then I was like, so do you have a, do you have a tour manager on the road? And I was like, well, I could do it, and this is what I've done for the past few years, and so I got them a discount on, his, on their boots. They, at that time, they needed the discount, so it worked out. I met a lot of people that work out here with us like that, just kind of like this serendipitous meetings that turn into like well, being part of the team for a long time. I would say, if anything, Don't Tempt Me With A Good Time tour was probably kind of late in the game. The main difference between my first performance, first tour, and kind of shows in the middle would just be the amount of people involved. Went from just me and the guys that were in my band at that time in North Carolina, to then coming to Nashville, putting the band together, you know, meeting my manager, and it was two guys out. And then it becomes, okay, front of house guy, monitor engineer, lighting, like people just start adding on. You got buses and trucks and all this, like it just continues to grow. We started playing in bars and restaurants to now playing, you know, NFL football stadiums and arenas around the world. And I've been there for from the very beginning, from driving the van to now being able to sit here and, and, and take in the experience. It's been pretty awesome. I think my favorite tour memory at all was our first stadium show, which was in Boone, North Carolina, where Luke played at his alma mater at App State. It was 35,000 people. You know, his family, everybody came in town for that show, was probably the most epic, emotional, moment I've had on tour with Transitioning to the Beer Never Broke My Heart tour, that from Don't Tempt Me was wild because we're going from clubs and you know theaters to just straight to arenas. I think everybody ends up kind of picking, you know, do you want to do the shed summer thing or do you want to do like the fall arena thing? And so we kind of gravitated towards the arena thing. The transition wasn't as huge for me as it was for like my tour manager, my production manager, like front of house guy, like our monitor engineer, like that's a whole different thing, right? It's like you gotta have stage managers and like all these things. We all learned that stuff together. I think I'm really comfortable on the road. Obviously I love to be home, you know, like any human being, you kind of want what you don't have, right? If you're home for too long, you want to be on the road. If you're on the road too long, you want to be home. I don't think you can ever find the perfect balance. They say nothing lasts forever, but they ain't seen us together. What you see is what you get to her is, you know, really kind of getting in stride. You're still in arenas, but maybe you're not in like tertiary markets. You're in like the main market. You're Instead of in Charleston, South Carolina, you're in Atlanta or you're in Charlotte. 
but all the lessons that you learned before still apply. It's just you, you've kind of streamlined everything. Oh, dusty hand with that I don't think the big shows have changed what I want to do, right? Like, I always just try to write music that I love, you know? I've never really tried to chase, like, man, I need this thing or I don't have this thing. You build the show around what you have, right? You don't take what you have and try to build it towards the show. I just don't think it works that way. The main elements for a great show obviously starts with the songs, and I think it goes out from there. We always try to make it about me and the band, right? You know, if you hear something that's being played on stage live, there's not anything else added in. If a song's great enough, it doesn't need anything else. With this world tour that we're about to go on, we spent probably three or four hours like putting the set list together for this tour. When we start out, I think there's five songs off the new record on this set list, but as the tour kind of evolves, like. I think there's there's room for that number to increase. We kind of figure out what people are drawn to more than, than something else. We went through a lot to think of the fans, you know, going into these stadiums. And that was what I really wanted to do, was not lose the intimacy that I feel like we've always had in our show. It comes down to moments where it's just me on stage or moments that feel more broken down or the way you talk and engage with the audience is super important as well. You know, tell a story about how you wrote a song or talk to a fan directly that has a sign. Like those things make it feel super personal. And so we, we try to do that as much as we can. I would urge you, if you haven't seen a show, please come out. I really think you'd love it.